What's going on guys? This is Chris Chaos back with well, whatever the hell you want to call this. Uh I've been thinking over the last week. Actually, the last couple of weeks. I've been thinking. And and and, and it even intensified after last week when uh Stanford lost. Uh the NCAA is now in a state of shock, if you will, because we don't know what's going on with the national title. Well, I imagine they're not in a state of shock. Fans are in a state of shock, I guess, about you know what's going on, because we don't know. Uh, this right here, and I will put this here where you can see it. Let me get over here and make sure you can see it. This right here, if you can make out the list, this is the top ten as of right now. Now, already... Already, uh, I'm, I'm filming this after the Oklahoma State loss. So, Oklahoma State is now 10-1, and 1, as you can see, because I noted it. Uh, and I just copy and pasted this off of ESPN. Uh, so, you've got, and actually this is the top 11. Uh, I forgot I put Houston in there because Houston is 10-0. and 0. And some people will argue that Houston deserves something, whether it be a national title bid or a BCS bid. Uh, I definitely say they deserve a BCS bid. I, I don't think they deserve a national title bid just because of strength of schedule. Let's just face it. Uh, but you got Houston, who is 10-0, uh, because they've already played this week as well. Uh, they played, I believe, Wednesday night, which is weird. I don't why can't we just all play on like Friday or Saturday? Why don't we gotta be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? I mean, I get confused. What week is this? Wait, we're playing on Tuesday, but what week is this? How many days did we have off? Two? Well, we're fucked. Uh anyway, Boise State's number ten, eight and one, Stanford's nine and one, uh uh, Virginia Tech's nine and one. Clemson's nine and one. Arkansas's nine and one. Oklahoma's nine and one. Oregon's nine and one. Alabama's nine and one. Oklahoma State is ten and one. Like I said, because they've already played this week, and uh, LSU is ten and zero. LSU is the best college football team in America right now. We know this. Uh. But what about the rest of us? This would be a good time to say, all right, we need a playoff. Eight teams, Oklahoma State, Alabama, Oregon, Oklahoma, uh, wait, that's four, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Clemson, Virginia Tech, and Stanford. Eight teams vying for the shot. Whoever wins out of those eight teams plays LSU for the national title. That's the only way uh, in a perfect world. Now, ha now, if LSU loses, then you take, instead of taking two through nine, you take one through eight. And whoever just happens to be in eight uh, just gets lucky. So, Oklahoma State, you are you guys, you're done. You're probably out. Uh but you know what? If Arkansas beats LSU, it's going to be really funny because Arkansas will move up. But see, Alabama defeated Arkansas. Arkansas defeated LSU, and LSU defeated Alabama. And they're all in the SEC West. How? <laughs> How do you go about this? Who? If if and that that's not, not even the national title. That's going to throw a real monkey wrench into the SEC title game. Who goes? Who goes in, Who goes to Atlanta and plays for the SEC title against uh, Georgia? Because Georgia's already in, but who goes and plays against them? Because all of these teams, these three teams, they're all they'll they will be like eleven and one at this time if they win out and LSU lo does lose to uh, uh, Arkansas. What do you do? Who knows? I I don't know. I don't know. I've never been a fan. Uh, and I'm about running out of time on my thing. Excuse me. My stupid camera. I can never get it to work right. Uh, I've never been a big fan of, a, of an eight-team uh, playoff. So here's what I propose. 
in the two minutes that I have left that I can actually film, obviously. Uh, you take the top four teams, whoever they happen to be. If it started right now, it would be Alabama, Oregon, Oklahoma, and Arkansas. And just let them go. You have uh, Alabama, number three, facing Arkansas, number six. You have Oregon facing Oklahoma, that's or four and five, that's on this list, by the way. So it would be, it would actually be two versus five, and then three, uh, it would be two versus five, and three versus four. Uh, but then you'd get Oklahoma and Oregon, which would be a great game. Uh, but anyway, that's my that's the way I would say do it. But who knows? What do I know? Anyway, that's just one way to look at it. Fourteen playoff. Uh, you got plenty of time before the national title and and championship week, so you might as well do something. Deuces. That's all I got to say.